Hey everyone, last night I tested out an inexpensive super wide angle 6mm C-mount lens. This is hooked up to my QHY178 color CMOS camera. I run this without the IR cut filter, which is why you'll see in the video the trees are a bit odd looking. Not a problem though with the sky. So I have this cabled to a small Windows 10 box running SharpCap. As you'll see in the video, I played a bit with the exposure and gain in the beginning before settling on an exposure of about five seconds, a gain of 28, and an offset of eight. I still need a few more clear nights to get the dozen or so settings in sharp cap dialed in. There's a lot in there. So I'll set this up. We had some pretty steady high clouds throughout the night, and you'll see that in the video sort of going south to north across the sky but I still managed to get the Milky Way as it was sweeping up and across the sky. So this camera, the QHY, with this six millimeter lens, which actually came with my ZWO ASI 120 MM-S is the, is the full thing. It's an ASI 120. So it's a, I think it's like a 1280 by 960 resolution, 3.75 micron pixel. Um, this one, that one's monochrome. It came with that, and I, which is kind of neat. It could be a lot of people want to use that ASI 120, which is a popular camera. It's inexpensive, and it is it is a pretty good uh, monochrome camera. People only use that for um, like an all sky cam, and that's kind of what this lens is made for. It actually did a pretty decent job with the QHY color. It would make a great all sky cam type setup. But I'm thinking about using this to capture the full night sky. When we have meteor showers, you know, the Lyrids, which we just had, the Perseids, Geminids. So I shot this sequence of images, 1400 five second exposures from one of the attic windows facing east. Yep, I just stuck the camera out the window. My next test is to tie the camera with a long USB 3 cable on the end of, say, an eight foot length of PVC pipe out the same window and get it above the roof line of the house so I can get the whole sky in view. Then I can use SharpCap to capture several thousand five second frames over the course of the night and bring them together into another video like this, uh, but of meteor showers. So there you go. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have questions and definitely check out my site, saltwaterwitch.com, all run together. I have a set of astronomy pages with my astro images, my equipment, and a few customization and automation projects. Okay, clear skies, everyone. Have fun.